Welcome back to Supreme Black Podcast. This is your host, D. Rose. Now, New York Times. <laughs> Come on now. I know for a fact that you knew what you was doing when y'all posted this. Y'all know for a fact two things for certain, right? Swag surfing been out for years. There is no way that y'all thought that Taylor Swift invented that. Y'all know that dance been out. Y'all been hearing the song, right? But this one right here, <laughs> we just can't stand for it. Now, you know... Who Boosie is, Torrance Hatch, whatever you want to refer to him as, New York Times, knew for a fact that this would drive engagement. Look, black people, just laugh and understand that imitation is the highest form of flattery. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people know ain't no way in hell anybody growing up from the 2000s that's ever going to say, sit down in a barber chair. Hey, man, let me get that Travis Kelsey. Come on, man. We all know that if any fade that we ever going to say that we going to respect and it's going to stand for in Black History Month is the Boosie fade. He know it. He said it on the talk show uh, with the other football players. Don't let, don't y'all let these people just get y'all so up in outrage because it is, man. Just let them people rock out. They didn't learn how to pimp the internet. If they know for a fact, they said, okay, it is now called the Travis Kelsey cut or the Travis Kelsey fade. Everybody go, go crazy. It's Black History Month. They playing in the Super Bowl. What's going to get more clicks than pissing off? <laughs> Anybody that's going to allow them to, everybody running to it. New York Times, they got Jamel Hill writing articles about it. They got other people saying that they didn't gentrify the fade. Come on, bro. In our entire history of coming up from bumping boots and music back in the day, anybody that got the high tape or the, 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 uh, the fresh line, what did you say when you seen them in the hood? That boy got that boosted fade. It will never, and I repeat, never be the Travis Kelsey fade. Now, if the little white kids or maybe some new cats want to say, hey, hey, let me go get that Travis Kelsey, hey, let them do it. You have to understand, for the people that were able to see Boosie coming up and know who he was, then you know what we was getting. Or oh, I never got the Boosie fade. My head too big for that. But for the people that was getting them haircuts, we knew we called it a Boosie fade, man. Don't let this get you up in arms bro they are simply trolling for engagement and honestly people fell for it hell i'm making a video on it but i can't let it go that far to where people are like ah oh, that's racism they didn't gentr come on bro we can't we can't be that serious it's other things going on out here that's that's blatant racism uh them calling it a travis kelsey cut to get y'all engagement knowing that the super bowl is coming up sunday they playing on y'all feelings and I get where they coming from, but look, New York Times, do me a favor. Get you some brothers and sisters at that table so y'all can know exactly of what has come from the culture before you post stories like this. Because some people are taking it as blatant offense. Me, myself, I'm making light of the situation. Maybe y'all didn't know Torrance Hatch, Lil Boosie. He had to cut, you know, 100 on pussy, 55 to 50. That's the Lil Boosie we know. When we sit down in the chair, we got the Boosie fade. It will never be the Travis Kelsey fade. Black people, quit letting them move y'all with stupid shit. Come on now. Let me know what your thoughts. Have they tried to gentrify the Boosie fade, man? Long live CeCe. I'm out.